Well, <laughs> we've got no special packaging for the rainy weather, which we will be seeing tomorrow. Is that right, Paul? That begs the question, how do you deliver the food if, it's, if you have a low cloud deck? It's like it's being dropped just from the clouds. And the drink doesn't spill, apparently. Uh, we have more rain coming tomorrow night. Rest of today, most of tomorrow's dry. Most of the rest of the rainfall is going to fall on Saturday over the weekend. Rain totals Hemet, Big Bear, close to an inch of rainfall, if not there. Glendale, three quarters of an inch. Thousand Oaks, four tenths of an inch of rain, one quarter of an inch in Malibu. Officially in Los Angeles, one third of an inch of rain. So we went from 1% of average since the start of the water year, which is October 1st. We're still at the beginning of things. But now we're back up to a more respectable 39% of average. Morning showers are done for today. It will be a partly to mostly sunny afternoon. We're mainly dry for most of Friday, 8 9 9 o'clock at night. That's when the rain will redevelop, but then it spills into Saturday and Saturday out of all of these days may turn out to be the wettest. Downtown Los Angeles, we are partly sunny. It is 71 degrees outside. These are your highs for today. Santa Clarita up to the upper 60s, 74 downtown Los Angeles, Santa Ana, 73 Temecula, 70 and Burbank, 70 degrees. We look at Inglewood and you had the morning showers today. Now you'll have a good dose of sunshine. Rain returns tomorrow. And then Saturday is going to be a good day to maybe uh, sit inside and watch some college football on your favorite CBS station uh, because rain is likely at least until mid-afternoon. That may be when things begin to dry out. But the first half to two-thirds of the day is going to be pretty wet. So a break in the rain today as we have rain pushing into our north and to our south, but right in between that split flow I was talking about a few minutes ago. That's a benefit for us if you wanted to get outside. We did have showers this morning. The radar is much clearer this evening and overnight tonight. Here comes the actual low. We've been watching it spin for days and days to our west. It has to pass us, move over us and pass us to get rid of the rain chance. That process begins on Friday. It gets closer, but look at how wet we are to our north. We're still sunny at 915. Let's get to mid afternoon. We're still sunny in the afternoon. The rain does not move in until after eight o'clock, but then the low is right over us. Saturday morning, we're wet. Saturday afternoon, we are still showery. Then the storm finally leaves. We get back to some more normal weather, which will be in the wake of the storm a bit chilly in the mid to upper 60s, but we will be dry by Sunday. Here's your metro area extended forecast. It's late tomorrow and Saturday. That's the second part of the storm where we get the rain chance. The rest of today we're dry. Most of tomorrow we're dry. Then we clear out on Sunday, and I know all of us have something going on different from normal next week because of Thanksgiving week. Maybe it's family visiting. Maybe you're visiting family. Maybe you're just going to make a couple extra runs at the grocery store. Weather next week is perfect with highs in the upper 70s and sunshine. Amy, back to you. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.